Hello friends, this is Pastor Daniel Govea. Thank you so much for checking out this review. Today I'm taking a look at the New English Translation Bible large print thin line art edition this is a beautiful awesome bible comes in this beautiful box i have the brown leather soft it was sent to me by thomas nelson in exchange for an honest review thank you thomas nelson i love this bible it's beautiful here in the back you can read a little bit about the features of this bible each book begins with a commissioned woodcut inspired image and these images are lovely by stephen Kratz. Book introductions for history and theological context. I actually love those. I've been reading a few. Durable smite soon binding lays flat in your hand or on your desk. Uh, you'll need to break it in a little bit first. Uh, line matched 10.5 print size and Thomas Nelson New English Translation Comfort Print Typeface. Beautiful, beautiful uh, typeface. I love it. Designed by 2K Denmark. I love it. Condensed set of translator's notes. Um, and you can have, of course, the 60,000 translation notes online or on the full notes edition. And you have full color maps. Beautiful. Awesome. Uh, retails for $44.99 but you can get it for uh, less than that. Um, this is a clamshell box. If you can open it, okay. There you go, see? And it's a really nice box for a really nice Bible. I think you were able to see that in the introduction of this video. This cover is beautiful. So again, brown leather soft, although as you can see, and I do believe my camera is faithful to the reality or very close, uh, look at look at this color. It's it's a brown, but at the same time, it has some nice color variations. And I wouldn't say this is a grain, but it looks like a grain when you when you look at it. So beautiful. And then of course you have this woodcut inspired um, image here on the cover and of course this is done with slight indentation on the leather soft as you would do on wood and it's it's nice it has a nice feeling to it has a an interesting visual effect so yeah just give you an idea of this cover and of this image in the front cover a lamb what could be more appropriate than a lamb pointing to Jesus, the Lamb of God. All right, you have uh, perimeter stitching, as you can see. This spine is also absolutely beautiful. 
have Holy Bible in gold. Then you have a cross and the walls of a city, be alluding to Jerusalem, on the back of the cross, again, in gold as well. And then you have uh, on the bottom, net, New English translation, the logo of the New English translation, which I really love, Thomas Nelson. And you have these four uh, kind of indented, um, I don't know if you can call it ribs, because it's the contrary of ribs. Ribs normally stick out, and these actually are, as you can see, slightly indented into the leather soft. So there's probably a better way to say this in English, but I'm sorry, I'm Portuguese. English is my second language. Just bear with me, but the camera is, is showing you exactly what these are, and I think they look lovely. They look beautiful. They have a darker coloration, and that really makes them stand out. Beautiful, awesome job by Thomas Nelson. Also has gold gilding, as you can see. Now, it's not a very intense uh, gold gilding, but it is uh, really well done. You have a brown uh, headband and a brown tail band. And you have these two beautiful ribbons, a brown, a dark brown one, and a gold one. These are double satin, as you can see, and they look awesome with a diagonal cut. You open it up, it is a paste down liner. You have here the presentation page and Colossians 3.16, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Beautiful. The Holy Bible, title page, Thomas Nelson. Again, here you have the information page. These Bibles are um, printed in South Korea. There you go. Contents. List of abbreviations to the reader, an introduction to the New English Translation, and then you have the features of the New English Bible Thin Line Art Edition Large Print. Again, this font was designed specifically for the New English Translation by 2K Denmark. It is a paragraph style Bible. And in the New Testament, when you have direct quotes from the Old Testament, the words are displayed with semi-bold italic type. Um, when the New Testament writers allude to an Old Testament passage without quoting it verbatim, these cases are indicated with italics. Very, very nice. All right. So you have the Net Translation Bible team and title page for the Old Testament, again with the logo of the NET. Love it. Beautiful design. And here you have the first um, woodcut-inspired image by Stephen Krotz, and you have for Genesis, in the title page of Genesis, you have the image, like for every other book of the Bible. And for Genesis, you have a tree with fruit, so what could be more uh, iconic um, in Genesis? Great. Um, you have a waterfall and you have vegetation, some mountains. Really, really good. Pointing to Eden and, yes, the origins of um, humanity. Great. So then you have the introduction to the book, um, and you have a survey of Genesis, like you have for the other books of the Bible. And then you have this, which I love, the Christ of Genesis, and you have this for each and every uh, Bible book. I read a few introductions. I really, really like them. And here you go. So this is a text that um, probably you already know. Um, I have a review of the uh, regular thin line an ET large print Bible, and uh, I love that Bible. Actually, my wife loves it so much that she took it for herself, and that is her Bible. I have it right here just for comparison at the end, but um, yeah. Same thing here, are very similar. Um, it's a 10.5 uh, font. It's highly readable. Uh, the font is dark. It's, um, it's bold. It's, it's really very readable. Um, the verse numbers are not bolder or bigger than the text, but they are very visible. You don't have any difficulty finding the verse numbers here. Um, there's a lot of space between the lines. So this, this is a great, great Bible for reading. 
uh, for study. Everything is in black. This is a black letter Bible. No words in red for the words of Jesus, nothing like that. This is, everything is black here, okay? So black titles of the books, black chapter numbers, black subheadings, um, everything is in black. Then you have the translation notes, again, the abbreviated or the condensed translation notes for the New English translation. And again, 60,000 are available online or in the full notes edition of these Bibles. That is great that I also reviewed on my YouTube channel. Um, yeah, I love these notes, condensed, but very meaningful and uh, very well done. The layout, I just love it. Uh, minimalist and simple but beautiful. Now, when you come to poetry sections, here they are. As you can see, the poetic format is also lovely and gives you a little bit more space if you like to write, make some annotations. And uh, Again, New Testament, as you can see, black letter. Let me show you a few more uh, examples of the woodcut-inspired images uh, by Stephen Crotz. Look, for Daniel. How can you allude better to the book of Daniel? Just, you know, lions, of course. Um, so, really well done. Beautiful. I think it adds a touch of beauty to the Bible. Joel, you have the locusts, of course. <laughs> Very, very nice. Really well done. Again, love this, this section in the introduction that points to Christ. Some of them are really simple. I mean, just a little summary. And then you have others where you can definitely see that the author or the authors would for sure even put more information if they could, but uh, they just, for sake of space maybe, had to make it short. But what they choose to put there is very, very well chosen and, and just gives you the essence of what the book has to say about Jesus. For instance, here in the Gospel of John, uh, I have again... Beautiful images. Here is an image that is the same image that you find in the spine of the Bible. I love this image. Here you have the full image, and you have the cross, and you have um, the appearance of a woman here crying at the foot of the cross, and a man kind of trying to comfort her, putting his hand over her. Could it be John and Mary, the mother of Jesus? I think that's the idea of the author, probably. Um, and I love this image. Beautiful. Um, and as I was saying, here then you have the introduction, survey of John, um, and then the Christ uh, of John. And I'm going to read this one for you so you can have an idea. I just, I love this introduction. This book presents the most powerful case in all the Bible for the deity of the incarnate Son of God. The man called Jesus is also the Holy One of God. The deity of Christ can be seen in his seven I am statements. I am the bread of life. I am the light of the world. I am the door. I am the good shepherd. I am the resurrection and the life. I am the way and the truth and the life. I am the true vine. The seven signs point to his divine character. Of course, chapters 1 through 12. The word was fully God, but the word also became flesh. The humanity of Jesus can be seen in his weariness, thirst, dependence, grief, troubled soul, and his anguish and death. So, again, I mean, of course, you can say much more about Jesus um, when you study the Gospel of John, but this is a really, really good introduction, and this really points to the main um, aspects of what John has to say about Jesus. So, love it. This is just an example. I've read many. I love the ones even uh, in the Old Testament. I read the one of Esther, Daniel. Um, I read Genesis. So, I, just, I loved each and every one that I read. So, really well done. Beautiful. Here you have the image for 1 Corinthians. Really nice. Another one. Second Peter. Revelation. Here you have the Lamb of the uh, cover. Really, really nice. Love it. Thank you for this. It's beautiful. So, Revelation. And then, at the end of Revelation, you have a 365-day reading plan. 
sometimes comes in handy. And then you have two uh, sheets of paper that are blank. If you want to make some annotations, you have four or five pages there with the back of the reading plan. And then you have uh, the Zondervan maps in a paper that is not too shiny, not too glossy. It is glossy, shiny paper, but not too shiny. And I like it. I love these colors. Um, they are really, really nice. I love the gray here. Really good. And that is the end of the Bible. Again, a paste down liner. So for the size comparison, I have here the regular New English translation thin line. So it is a little bit thinner than the art edition. Okay, here you go. Footprint is the same. But uh, in terms of its thickness, the art edition is a little bit thicker. And I can put it here also on top of the full notes edition and give you an idea of the size and the thickness, okay? Here's the art edition in the middle. Here's the thin line on top. Here's the full notes edition. Now I've reviewed this one and this one on my channel. You can watch those if you're interested. And yeah. I don't know if I have much more to say. Again, great Bible for its price. I think it's awesome. Love this translation, love this Bible. I think it looks beautiful. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section down below. God bless you, my friend. Whatever Bible you read, read it with faith. Look unto Jesus. Think about the Lamb of God who was crucified for you and was crucified for me. All right, bye.